Um, another movie of the day at the London Film Festival. This one I enjoyed a lot less. Um, but I seem to be in the minority of people who, who didn't enjoy it. So the movie in question is called Under the Volcano and it chronicles the very short time span of a Ukrainian family who are on holiday in Tenerife and as they finish their holiday on their last day, as, literally as they're at the airport, you know, the war in Ukraine breaks out. Topical. But th there was this inescapable feeling I had that of all the amazing stories you could tell about this war from across seas and obviously back in Ukraine itself, I don't know, I found it very strange that the, the, the focus of this movie was to focus on a family who were abroad and who effectively got stuck in Tenerife. Now, I completely get the sense of nationalistic pride of being away effectively in quote unquote paradise while all of your friends are dying back home. Like, thematically that's powerful. But for reasons I haven't I mean, listen, I've just walked up the screen's literally there. But for reasons I can't quite wrap my head around, the movie failed to resonate with me. Um, the, the, look, pulling for the positives, the dynamic between the family, very organic, very believable, the way it all starts with them getting along on holiday and obviously the strain and stress of the constant bombardment of news of what's happening in their home country takes its toll on them and you see them gradually become more and more and more estranged with each other. Um, so yeah, the dynamic was believable, the dynamic was powerful, but it, it failed to make an emotional impact for me, whereby the other two movies I walked out of today, you know, Treading Water and Between Two Worlds, are amongst the best movies I've seen all year. This movie is one of the festival darlings. Like, it was impossible to get tickets to that. Very happy that I was, had a chance to watch this movie. But it's, I found it laboriously slow. I think what let this movie down was the editing. I think it needed, it was too long. Um, it needed about a good 25 minutes chopped off of it. I appreciate what they were going for by trying to have the moments of calmness, you know, the, the, the thunder in silence, but it did not work for me. For, for a, a movie about a theme as topical and as relevant and as of the moment and powerful as this, for it to not move me at all, I think is, is a crying shame. And I think that comes down to the fact that it was really too slow. The pacing felt off, the length of the, the the length that they were choosing to remain on certain shots to emphasize the moment felt misjudged i think a little bit tight a little bit of tightening in the editing room um, and i think that's the only fault i can really pull at it but my god did that pacing cause a massive issue and it really affected my enjoyment of the movie so as a result, Under the Volcano, while it's topical and poignant, and while it's tragic, of course, what's happening in Ukraine, this isn't, this isn't one of those simple things of, you don't like this movie, therefore you're anti-Ukraine. Let's not go down this silly route. I know that there's going to be some internet trolls out there who will have fun with the comment section, but I'm just talking about the movie not from a content perspective but from an execution perspective for me it kind of failed to deliver I'm it's above average you know it's, it's well made but I don't think I'm gonna score under the volcano anything more than a six out of ten it's fine I don't think it's one I'm gonna you know shout to the skies to shout to the stars to go and recommend to people but yeah if you do watch it I think it's gonna get picked up because of what it's about and because of how topical it is so if you do get a chance to see it let me know down in the comment section what you thought 
Um, and that brings day one of my film festival coverage to a close on today too. Thank you as always for watching. Please do be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, tickle that notification bell, and I'll see you guys very soon for another review. Bye for now.